Hey, welcome to the shortwave radio channel. Um, I can't stress out enough and talk about enough of a phenomena that is um, amazing and that can actually give you a lot of signals that you might not hear usually and it's gray line communications. If you notice here on the map, my, uh, my location is there and look at that, I'm right on the gray line here. So that means any station transmitting around here are going to be stations that are going to be enhanced because that transition zone where the ionosphere is technically reorganizing itself uh, in my case the sun is setting so the layers are actually slowly reorganizing and going into one single layer for the night uh, but they're still there because the sun is still hitting the high atmosphere. Uh, and it doesn't happen in just, you know, a couple of minutes. That transition actually happens over maybe an hour, a good hour. Um, well, that enhances propagation on almost any any frequency. It's not just, you know, lower or upper frequencies. It's, it could be on any frequency you'll hear something unusual. That's why there's a lot of... Uh, of Asian signals that come in when you're at this time because when you start tuning around you might notice that the signals that I'm trying to see if I can find anything here I'm having some good propagation propagation is good today actually I don't have an example right now, but um, a lot of the frequencies that actually propagate from Asia to here will be good, especially in the next hour, as uh, Japan will be in the zone uh, and part of China and all of that. So this is um, a great, great time to, to uh, do this. Also, remember, this gray line changes throughout the year it's not always this shape this is the shape for winter solstice we're going to be in officially in winter in the northern hemisphere in two three days from now this is what it looks like but when you're in the summer solstice for example in north america this is reversed the big lump of light at the bottom here is at the top and the bottom will have that little uh, curve here uh, because it changes the day and night patterns change throughout the year in the northern and southern hemisphere because of you know the seasons so that changes if you look at in, in spring uh, like in September um, uh, in September yeah September and fall but in March for spring you'll see that it actually makes two vertical lines so that changing pattern means there are times of the year you have better chances of getting specific signals from an area. A, a, a good amateur radio operator that wants to make some great contacts throughout the year will take advantage of that. Uh, an example that I have here is I've been making around, let's say, in half an hour to an hour from now, especially when Japan starts being really in the gray line, I've been making tons of amateur contacts with Japanese stations that are uh, plenty at this time because of the gray line. But if you look in the summertime or in different times when that has changed, you'll notice that, for example, Japan is not favored anymore. But there's some, another country or other areas of the world that are favored for that. So it's very important to take a look at the gray line all the time. Uh, it changes shape slowly, but it changes shape. If you look now, if you look into, say you look at, at on January 15th, and then on February 15th, you'll actually notice the shape shifting of the gray line and how things are different and how that gray line from your area to another part of the world has changed and now gives you maybe an advantage for some other countries or other continents. So um, it, is, it is a very, very good time for radio listening also. So do 
check it out. Uh, the gray line is an important part of the uh, communications on shortwave. And um, they really, really enhance signals a lot. Um, I, I told you in the live shows, for those that follow the live shows, that uh, an example of that is uh, LRA-36 in, Argent in, in Antarctica. Well, now is not the best time for me, but when the gray line will be a little straighter, so, you know, maybe uh, by end of January, for example, in February, um, I will get back my listening to LRA-36 in a more decent level. So all of that shifts propagation. That's why there are signals that you'll hear for a month, two months, and then they disappear and they come back the next, you know, six months later because the shape comes back to the same shape. So typically the shape you see here um, will change, but there are periods like uh, spring and fall where that same shape comes back again twice. So you'll have it in spring and you'll have it in fall. So just look at the gray line. There are, I'll, I'll share with you the, uh, one of the, the websites, which is time and date, which does have the, uh, the day night pattern live on a map in your browser. So you can check out, um, you know, where's the gray line and where is it actually all around the world? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.